Alright guys, Master Chief 117 here, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the new MacBook Pros that just came out, and uh, today is Friday, February 25th, 2011. They were released yesterday, Thursday the 24th, 2011. So I'm a day late and I apologize. Um, so pretty much the only major update um, that they came out with would be the Thunderbolt, and uh, that was my knuckles cracking, I apologize. Thunderbolt is the major update. And um, the graphics capabilities that they're now uh, enabling in these computers. Um, this is some really sick stuff. Uh, as you may know, Apple completely just kind of uh, missed the boat on USB 3.0, but they have a good reason. And that good reason is Thunderbolt, which is capable of twice the speed of USB 3.0. That's rec um, transferring at uh, USB 3.0's 4 gigabits per second. And Thunderbolt is capable of 10 gigabits per second, which is obviously almost two and a half times of USB 3.0 so there is good reason for them missing that boat um, and if you really want USB 3.0 you could probably go with a 17 inch MacBook Pro with um, the uh, expansion card and USB 3.0 but whatever because you got Thunderbolt 2 um, then the other thing that they came out with would be the graphics update they really redid a lot of their stuff um, the 13 inches still have um, only the um, only the built-in graphics. Uh, the only models that offer the uh, discrete graphics along with the uh, integrated graphics is the 15 inch and the 17 inch. Um, right here, the 15 inch uh, at 1799 is offering a 2 gigahertz quad-core Intel i7 with a um, Intel. Uh, the integrated graphics is an Intel HD Graphics 3000 with uh, the memory is shared with your main memory so your main RAM so that's not the best solution and then uh, the uh, integrated or the uh, discrete graphics would be the AMD Radeon HD 6490M with 256 megabytes of DDR5 memory which is pretty good that'll do a lot of your stuff for you um, picture editing a lot of video editing uh, stuff like that but then if you really want to get into uh, uh, HD video editing um, like 1080p or even you know higher bit rate 720 uh, 720p footage you really want to get the uh, 2199 dollar uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro and that has the 2.2 gigahertz quad core Intel i7 processor with the same integrated graphics but then the discrete graphics gets bumped way up to the AMD Radeon HD 6750M with one gigabyte of DDR5 memory and that's all on a laptop that gets uh, seven hours of battery life which is pretty sick. And then the 17 inch, um, pretty much the only thing they boosted on that was, it looks like the only thing they boosted was the processor options. Um, that's a 2.2 gigahertz quad core Intel i7. Uh, same integrated graphics as the other ones. Um, the same discrete graphics as the other ones. Uh, six the 17 inch has, has a six megabyte level three cache. Um, optional 2.3 gigahertz quad core, which is the maximum speed you can get on that, which is really good considering it's got that turbo turbo boost stuff which gets you gets you up to like 3.4 or 3.2 gigahertz i'm not too sure but all these laptops will get you seven hours of battery life uh for web surfing and not just like the display or the uh brightness is on the lowest setting they're talking brightness all the way up keyboard lights are lit up and then you're surfing the web too and i just got an email still using the uh, sdxc card slot thunderbolt port usb 2.0 firewire 800 and if you'll recall in my other video, I totally called this the EyeSight camera or the FaceTime camera, as they're calling it now, is now high definition. Um, I'm not sure if it's 720p or 720i or uh, 1080p or i. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen the resolution on that yet. But these computers are looking pretty sick. And um, if I can get a hold of one, uh, check back later. I'll see what I can do from, uh, from Apple. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for, um, I don't know, I said thank you twice. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, actually, give it a thumbs up, not rate anymore, because there's not really a rating system, except for the thumbs up, whatever. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at um, the x 360 gamer or Taking Tech Apart, and check out uh, x360gamer.com and takingtechapart.com is my new domain name, the new domain name that I've acquired. Um, I will be making that website pretty soon, and it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be me taking stuff apart. So if you really like to see taken or stuff get taken apart, then uh, check that website pretty often. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.